Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and View 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on displaying user role over here. And also we'll be using PSP add that one enum to represent user role. So now let's get started. So let me open up the code editor and instead of app directory, let me create a folder called enums. Okay. Inside this, let me create a file called role type.psp and let me add namespace app slash enums enum and in the enum is role type and it will return the integer as we'll be storing integer in our database and we'll be using enum to represent that okay so let's define case called admin it calls one case user equals two okay now let me add database column for role so we do not have that column so let's add that column psp artisan make me a migration call add role field to users table so let me open up the file add role field to users table and inside this table tiny integer called role and by default uh, let's make this as user with the type of role as user okay so instead of uh, passing two over here we can use enum so that it will be much more readable so we can do role type called user and if we just do role type uh, colon colon user then we'll get that object and to get the value we need to do arrow and then value and instead of down method let's do this drop column call role sorry this is table drop column role now we can do psp artisan migrate and this got migrated and if I refresh this we have the role column with the value of 2 and 2 represents user in our enum type right now let's display that name over here so for that let me go to list users.view file and inside this we can do user.role and if I come here we are getting the 2 right but instead of displaying two, uh, we will be displaying uh, the name of the role, right? Instead of two, we should display user. So for that, we can use accessor. So let me go to user.psp file. And at the end, let me create one method called role. And it will return the attribute, okay? And inside this, we need to return attribute make and we'll be making the attribute for get and it is a function will receive a value and it will return a value for now we'll just return value and make sure to import proper attribute so that you will not get the issue so instead of just attribute we need to import the proper one eliminate database allocate cast attribute okay and that either is gone and still we'll be getting that same output right but over here we can use enum so we can do role type from this given value and to get the name we need to do arrow name okay as it will be in the object and from that object we'll be accessing name okay and if I refresh this now we are getting that role name now if I change that specific user role from user to admin then we should get admin okay this is perfect so this much for this video I hope you learned something from this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one